Development is not a thin veneer. It is not spit and polish, not to hang out new curtains so the neighbors think we're doing well. Development is buses that run every five minutes. It is a telephone in a local government office that is answered every time it rings. It is cars that stay in lane, people that wait at midnight for red lights to turn green. It is civil servants who are civil, public servants who are servants, leaders that stay on their feet till their people are seated, presidents that listen to questions without irritation. Development is not politics. It is not the gift to society of a strong man in office to make us queue and force feed us, not what a government thinks is best for us. Development is all that stuff a child dreams of becoming. To grow up and find it's okay to become it. To follow the paths that make sense to our hearts so lawyers, our lawyers and plumbers, our plumbers and artists don't have to apply to be bankers. To sit in a park and not wonder why such spaces are wasted on leisure and thought. Each man, the plank they were destined to be. Development is the existence of multiple spaces. Multiple options and identities, not just Christian or Muslim, black or white. When we live in a universe of infinite possibilities, development is infinite possibilities. Like solar for power and forests, for deserts, like drilling for oil without hurting the mangroves, like the extinction of polio, a world without end, where the girl is a student and not a young mother, like lions and lambs, supermarkets, street markets, big business, small business, small people, big people, not Boko Haram, that makes my destruction the prerequisite for its own expansion, like farmers and herders, like eagles and hawks, development is to coexist. To coexist upon this planet that wobbles on a delicate balance in unending space where comets collide, where chaos and creation are two sides of a coin, development is the wisdom to keep us spinning. To take out today, put back tomorrow, to fight within rules, pay back what you borrow, to walk to the future but keep some of the past and stop telling our children we are indestructible, to remember Noah, that layer of earth that once bore the weight of dinosaurs, that life is rootless and won't hesitate to snuff out existence when we make the wrong choices. Development is to make the right choices. Between healthcare and weapons, education and mansions, presidential jets or one power station, bulldozing slums to make way for luxury apartments or altering the city plan to make way for people. Development is people. The way they laugh and love and sometimes fall ill. To have someone care for the vulnerable where streets are safe and house is home and the arrow is free to fly to its mark where the soul can breathe out, not holding creation. And the world is as vast as our imagination, not limited by borders or ethnicity or religion or the contents of any economics textbook, not limited by the experiences of the past or the present. Development is not a junction with signboard that says left to Russia or right to the United States. For the houses we want will not be built of theories and there's nothing hypothetical about our dreams. When I flick the switch, what I want is power, not a lecture on the dialectical nature of power. When I reach out my hands, what I want is life, not another long projection on economic growth, to realize our potential, to achieve our dreams, to become ourselves, to look at our children in the eyes tonight and know that we have done everything possible to make sure that they have a better shot at happiness. This is what development is. And after all the number crunching and policy debating and report writing, if we are not able to deliver this, better prospects for our people, then what is the point? Because no matter the level of success or fame or glory that I can achieve as a person, it will never wipe away the shame of being a citizen of a grossly underperforming nation. So I beg you, as leaders in all your various spheres of influence, give us back our pride. Thank you.